Amazon, one of this year's high flyers due to report earnings. Joining me now with a preview is Tuna Amobi, equity analyst at S&P Capital IQ. Tuna, it's nice to see you. What are you watching for in terms of this earnings report and what do you want to see on the revenue side from Amazon? Well, you know, I think, um, you know, we have a buy recommendation on the shares. Um, I think that their revenue guidance from 13% growth to about 24% growth, I expect them to fall somewhere in between. Now, that includes significant foreign exchange headwinds, which should be a factor in this uh, report. But overall, I think that we expect the key highlights to include you know, Amazon Web Services, which has been, um, you know, kind of uh, outgrowing everything else uh, relatively from a small base. The other highlight we expect uh, would be Amazon Prime Video, a lot of investments going on, fulfillment, and generally ramping up for the upcoming holiday season. How does Amazon look in terms of its position for that all-important fourth quarter that we're in now? I think they're in great shape. Um, just yesterday, they announced that they were going to add an additional 100,000 people to uh, ramp up for the holiday. That's up 25% from year ago. Their fulfillment centers are all well, fully, you know, kind of well staffed up with um, the modern technology. Robotics is going to be a key factor. So I think the volumes are expected to be significantly up. They just came off that July uh, prime day that saw some record, um, you know, numbers. So I think the overall business fundamentals continue to look very good, both in the U.S. and internationally. I mean, in reality, does Amazon have any real competitors at its level? Well, you know, the traditional retailers, you know, from Walmart to Target to Best Buy, everyone else is pretty much trying to play catch up in the uh, e-commerce space where Amazon continues to garner share. Um, you know, so I think you can look at those uh, companies as uh, competitors, albeit on a relatively small scale. You know, the buzzword now is omnichannel. And, um, you know, that's kind of a code word to try to, fulf you know, kind of be the place where uh, customers are. And that's exactly what Amazon's core business model is. You know, promotions are going to intensify, trying to match up to um, Amazon's, you know, promotions. So there's a lot of, you know, um, you know a lot of, uh, you know, chess games going on uh, between Amazon and traditional retailers, all of whom are squarely focused on whatever uh, Amazon does. Tuna, you mentioned you have a buy rating on the stock. A lot of people look at this stock chart, and of course the question is, has it gotten ahead of itself? How much room potentially does Amazon stock have to run at this point, and can that earnings report propel it much higher? Well, I think we have a 12-month target price of $650, uh, which still uh, implies uh, you know, fairly reasonable you know, upside from the current level. So, uh, so sure, the uh, stock has uh, rallied quite a bit. Um, of late. Um, but if you look at Amazon on uh, any, you know, kind of metrics, price to sales is what we look at versus internet retail peers. I think 2.2 uh, times roughly. It still looks like a you know, kind of bargain, uh, frankly. But if you look at PE, sure, it kind of lo you know, looks uh, a little overpriced, but we don't think PE is the right way to look at the company uh, in this stage of uh, its, uh, given its business model. Tuna Moby, good to talk to you. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me. I'm Rhonda Schapler for The Street.